Hello there, Dr. Janine Krause here. In my previous video, I talked about what is insulin resistance. In this one, I'm gonna talk about how can you fix it? Well, first and foremost, you can start moving. Get that body going every single hour. Get up, move, stretch, dance a little bit for a couple minutes. Then, at least 30 minutes a day, every day. Not just five, like they say in the announcements for diabetics. 30 minutes, five times a week. No, every day, movement, at least 30 minutes get going. You can start lifting weights, start doing more conditioning, cardio, that stuff helps. Even if you've never worked out before, just get up, start walking, go up and down your stairs at your house. Only have a few steps, great, go up and down and repeat it. Something so that you're starting to move your body because that's gonna help you to have yourselves more excited about seeing insulin, bringing glucose to them to make energy. Plus your energy is gonna boost anyway. Now, decrease those processed carbs. I'm talking about junk food, I'm talking about breads, I'm talking about crackers, anything that does not come in its natural form, get it out of there, especially flours and sugars, all that stuff. Probably no secret to you, but let's face it, sometimes we'll think about, well, what if it has a alternative sugar? Like maybe it has lohan guo, like monk fruit, or maybe it's stevia, something like that. Stevia is green, folks, by the way. If it's not coming in its green form, it's processed. Likely, it's got some corn starch or corn sugar in there. And guess what that does? up to your insulin resistance. So all those fake carbs, not a good thing, especially if they're chemical ones that telling you they're zero carb, it is not helping you and it messes with your gut microbiome. All of the splendas and sucraloses, aspartames, all that stuff jacks with your gut microbiome. I'm telling you, I've tried it. I thought, oh, hey, zero Gatorade, zero you know, Coke, all that stuff. Awesome, guess what? Doesn't do any help. Other thing here that I didn't write on here about processed carbs, you know what equate, equates to a processed carb? Alcohol. Not helpful at all if you have insulin resistance. You need all the help you can get here, so I highly recommend at least going down to one drink a day, if not none. Better to just cut it all off. Now, how do you balance your gut? That's a tricky one. There's something called berberine, 500 milligrams with every meal can help reset your sensitivity to glucose again, but it can be tricky. You gotta check with your doctor before you dive into that. It does have some side effects, so be careful there. Now, how else can you balance your gut microbiome? Sit down to eat. Chew your food 20, 25 times per bite. Eat your veggies. Take your time, experience your food. You could also take digestive enzymes to help you out. Hydrochloric acid, sounds super scary, comes from beets. You can take that to help you digest your food better so that your body's gonna uptake the carbs, fats, and proteins, not just the carbs, because they're easier to digest. Because unfortunately, the folks I see with insulin resistance are the ones that struggle to digest veggies, to digest the healthy, fibrous, rich foods. And so unfortunately, the side effect becomes insulin resistance. These are things you want to be careful about. Life stress, managing that at all costs, absolutely huge because you can eat the most perfect diet, you can literally move, but if you do not, or do all the things, let's put it that way, but if you do not put your stress in check, your cortisol will stay elevated. And this is an issue that I see over and over again. So what do you do about that? There's a adaptogenic herbs like ashwagandha, holy basil, shisandra berry, cordyceps, all of these different herbs can help you to calm down your stress levels and help your body to adapt to stress better, but also help with blood sugar balance over time. So there are plenty of herbs to be looking at in the case of making it or helping your body to adjust to sugar levels, but more importantly, the basics before you start diving into those can also be extremely helpful. Being hydrated, drinking half your body weight in ounces of water a day is absolutely crucial too to help you fight insulin resistance. So stay tuned for more videos just like this of me explaining what to do when you have things like insulin resistance happening and other imbalances in your body. I'm Dr. Janine Krause. Thanks for watching.